Hello everyone, welcome back to Lave Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We discovered in the previous video that we probably shouldn't decouple these two rovers slash bases slash space planes at the same time, so we will do them separately. And so I'm going to just say decouple there. Ah. Okay. They apparently weren't attached. I don't know how they were attached. Um, apparently they were both attached to this decoupler. Is that what happened? Is... Hmm. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Okay, well, instead of picking it up from here, I'm gonna pick it up from the save where we already had the thing docked, because uh, I don't think I can save this. Uh, apparently it's just a matter of how they were attached. They didn't get attached... They got attached to this decoupler. Not one to each decoupler. I guess? I guess. So... Alright, well then, so, in this case we already have the spacecraft docked to our station, and this is where we were at the end of the previous video. And what do I do about these two? Well, I could, I guess, scrape one off. It's an idea. I guess I might as well try something. We also have to figure out whether we can move the the base module that we had previously landed there. So I'll try something nefarious to try and get this to work out for us. Uh, there was a thathunk. I mean, a lack of stellar exposure should not be a thathunk situation, right? Hmm. I have no idea how the aerodynamics of this are gonna work out. I don't know actually if the tires can survive the entry. That's another one. I guess we're gonna find a few things out. It was supposed to be underfueled. One of them isn't right. That's annoying. When we put them in on in symmetry, this one is correctly underfueled. We weren't supposed to have all the oxidizer and everything. But this one wasn't. When it was placed in symmetry, it fully fueled it. So it's this one that's correct. That one is not. Okay, just going for zero kilometers basically. Oh, now they've switched places. No, no, no. I would prefer the correct one on top. If only we had the um, function to explode parts or something, or have Kerbals rip it apart using an engineering function. Okay, well, into the atmosphere we go. We'll see what happens. Maybe with these tires, I mean, those tires will just blow up and this wasn't a good idea at all. Very possible. Oh, we're way overshooting. Um, okay, cancel that. It's fine, we didn't need all this fuel anyway. Okay, just barely outside of the atmosphere, let's keep it that way. Hey, let's try this retro burn again. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll actually enter properly. Oh, no, we have some effects. Well, this should be interesting. No, use the other one to shield you. Use the other one to shield you. <laughs> oh gosh, that's not working. Well, we've slowed down a lot. Okay, we need to be aerodynamic. Okay, gliding along. This is very strange. 
thinks we're gonna crash there. Don't think that's true, but no. Uh, this isn't a plane anymore. And it's slowing down rapidly. But maybe if I try and crash that one, they'll just give me that message and everything will explode. We Oh, by the way, if we explode that other one, there's a Kerbal in there, isn't there? Okay, actually, we need to make sure both Kerbals are in the top one. Not that I expect that one to survive any better. Um, okay, which one is this one? Uh-oh. It doesn't... It doesn't tell me which one this one is. How do I know... Which Phoenix cockpit is the safe one? Or the one that's on the top? I see a flaw in this. They need to have this highlight... The part when we select it or hover over it. Well, they're both in this one, this phoenix, but I don't know whether that's the right one. I think we've got all the jets on. Okay, but now... Uh-oh, one just decided that it doesn't have enough air. Oh, and we're losing... speed. Oh, we still need to go in this direction a bit. I'm gonna try and use the water to get rid of the bottom one. Which may kill both Kerbals or may not, depending on which one actually is the bottom one. It's a bit of a lag here. Oh, I've got, I'm going at extra time warp. No wonders I couldn't stage the engines. There we go. Um, would that help me see which one is actually the one they're in? Um, hold on. No. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, board. Okay, they are on the top one. <laughs> I EVA'd one, and... That one popped out of the top one, so they're both in the top one. There we go. Now what's the stall speed of both of these combined, exactly? Probably. Anyway, we want to scrape that off, so let's just go faster. I'm getting close to shore, actually. Now oh, I'm gonna save first. We may need some special techniques for this. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Don't. Go. Oh no. The other one went in too. Okay. So how do we? pull up after that. Um, it was working quite well actually. We did manage to scrape the bomb one off but the other one couldn't pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Uh, no, I couldn't pull up. I was, I was trying my best but I need to see whether I lose control when the bomb one scrapes off. Nope, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got it. It's not going fast though. This is not something we're supposed to do. <laughs> Definitely not something it was supposed to do. It's not great at flying anywhere. And we've got a, still a long trip to our target. Let's just set something as a target. Do we still have Kerbals? Yes, we do. We still have Kerbals. See? Very successful so far. <laughs> Apparently we can do some science. Oh, only on EVA. Well, we can transmit a little bit. Splashed ocean. Yeah, we did. Is that a mountain there? 
Oh boy. Definitely a mountain. This doesn't climb super well. Okay, we're 50 kilometers away now. Uh, okay, we've got the parachutes. We don't have to make a landing. Landing. Not that kind of landing. Now, unfortunately, we can't test the whole idea of docking one of these to another yet, but... Let's see if we can get this down safely. Gosh, I didn't realize the base was so close to such mountains. We always came in from the other side. We don't want to go too low because we're using the parachutes to come down anyway. Oh, we will land it close to the original base modules, not the It's a Base, which still needs to taxi over if it can. Of course, this maybe this could give it a nudge or something. Or we could see it spontaneously explode. Well, it's on a crash course. You know how that is. They're always on a crash course when we approach them. Okay. And closer. Cutting engines. Popping parachutes. Popping parachutes. Oh, and we're in time warp. Popping parachutes. Okay. Very good. Uh, we're tilting to the rear though. We wanted to avoid that. By the way, why are there eight of them? They were supposed to be six. Okay, well now it's balancing anyway. I'm actually going to use the main landing gear. Okay, we don't want to go nose first either. Oh, the the touchdown speed's a little bit rough. Let's make sure brakes are on. Sixteen is more than I wanted. Oh boy. It looks like I misjudged the parachuting here. Ooh, ah. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tip over. Okay, 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 okay. Brakes. Oh, that was lucky. The okay, the the shoots need to stop. Cut. Brakes. Brakes are not working. We're going to go into the water. Okay. Okay. Maybe these will be better. Motor enabled. Okay. Everything's motor enabled. All right, we're moving. Not so much turning. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Excellent. These little ones seem more reliable than the Weasleys. So more parachutes are necessary. It says eight there, but I swear I only put it on six. Um, oh, maybe there's another one underneath there? No, I think that's a door for it. Okay, we're going way fast. Oops, oops, oops. Oh no, everything's on a crashing trajectory again. I'll take SAS off. I don't think SAS does anything much around here. Is it a good idea to have this right next to them? We need some space just in case we actually dock other things to it. Okay, we'll have it alongside. Okay, I was a little bit late in breaking. It's much smaller than the other ones. Okay, parking brakes, please. Why are they in yellow, though? Okay, it's arrived. Contrary to all expectations, it's arrived! Okay. It's a weird sort of base. 
for now. Let's save, and then we're going to take a look at the other one, the It's a Base 3, and see if we can move it now. Okay, here this is. Somebody suggested turning off SAS, but it's already off. Okay, well, we can't go full thrust with the engines. Which is just... sad. Up, oh, let's start losing air. And it starts backsliding too. Do these little guys still have some... No, Mephlox deprived. Oh, but we seem to be moving now. We're moving forward! Uh, only the left one's on. But maybe if we move at a sufficient speed, the right one will get enough air. In any case, we can steer with just one on. No, 32 seems a good clip. We've even got the right one on now. Okay, uh, oh, we're getting a little bit too close to the water. Okay, now I'll, I'll stick to 32-ish. I better be careful about using the brakes. I mean, we did lose landing gear before. In the course of braking, I don't know if that was the cause of it, but in the course of braking, we definitely had the right landing gear go poof, so... Don't want that happening again. Again, don't know if it was related to the landing, uh, to the brakes, but... Could have been. Let me just get this open. I don't know if this can dock to the other ones. Right. Set that do docking port as a target. Three. That good? The nose cone could get in the way though. Come on, jets. Hmm? Oh, I don't think I did a very good job of that. <laughs> okay, brakes. Um, they really need their forward landing gear down. Probably. Oh, I'm not aiming for anything. Oops. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to boop you like that. Fortunately, backing up is easy because the slope is like that. Uh, oh, it did. It docked. Oh, okay. Things went flying, but... Okay, close. We got three of them together, folks. And there's the little space plane there. We got three of them together. Aha! And now we can have even more expansions with that tail docking port, which is large. Okay, full brakes, and we can have all their... well, okay, these are a little bit... like that. Um... I think I'll just leave them like that. Okay. Well, that's something, isn't it? Just a flock of base modules. The time morph thing is a little bit worrisome, though. Still apparently moving. Uh, maybe, yeah, let, let me retract the nose ones. It's probably gonna be more stable like that. Alright, well, with that accomplishment, back to Space Center. Well, we once again asked ourselves when should we come back home from Jewel since we need to carry that science back. And we'll time warp to the window, and then the little pod is going to have to bring that stuff back. So we need Kerbin behind Jewel by 48 degrees. 
Okay, well, that might be too much, but alright. Back to the station. Cross your fingers. <laughs> okay, alright, the pod is there. We double checked that the Kerbal had the science. Now, we do want Leif to be in the right position with respect to Jules' orbit. That's not too bad. Maybe a little bit longer would be good. Maybe we can get some vanity shots of the station here for a few orbits. Okay, let's get the little pod off. Undock. A little bit too dramatic for my my uh, preferences, but okay. 2,642 meters per second. Surely that will be good enough. Let's see. Oh no, a Val periapsis? See, the problem with the Val periapsis is we don't get enough patch conics to see our carbon bound trajectory or, you know, the potential carbon trajectory. So we have to make sure to avoid that. I do have five patch conics, of course, in KSP1 we got seven. <laughs> but entry and exit each count as one, I think. So a uh, Val encounter takes two out from that five. Okay, timing's obviously wrong there. And that looks like a mid-course correction sort of deal. So, okay, we will do this. We will do this as plotted. It'll go all wrong, but then we'll correct it with the other 1,500 meters per second we've got. Okay, getting close to it. We don't strictly need the pod to have RCS because it's got a reaction wheel, but it's got a lot of mod propellants actually. Probably didn't need these supplementary tanks at all. As long as we allowed crossfeed, I don't know if we can enable crossfeed through the heat shield. I guess maybe not? We can enable it through the decoupler, but I don't know if we can through the heat shield. In this case I'm not Concerned about the radial inefficiency, I'm hoping I have enough delta V to compensate for that if anything gets messed up. And 1000 isn't too much to come back home from Jewel with. Oh, okay, the radial is getting a little bit bad here. Okay, and cut. Well, I did it exactly the way it told me. What actually happened? Let's see. Well, there's certainly no encounter. Okay, somehow we did better on inclination than the plot. Uh, this correction... Well, seems to be able to get us arbitrarily close here. Let's burn. Well, hopefully the orbit will come in. Such a short burn. Well, it was a very short burn. I did it pretty close to where it was plotted, but we sure did not see the orbit come in here. Hey, let's try that again. Oh, what? What? Oh, encountering moon. See, it stops the patch conics because of the moon encounter right there. We're still in Leif SOI, mind you. Okay, that'll do. Five more meters per second. Let me double check that we have the science here. Um, science. Yes, samples. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to Kerbin. And with our science. Okay, bye-bye, Lathe.
we are now out of Lath uh, Lath SOI, and we are headed out from Jewel. It's really nice getting the burn done when you're still in Lath SOI. Very efficient and everything. Val, we did not encounter you. Okay, onward. Okay, approaching Kerbin. No mid-course correction necessary. This mission had lots of Delta V. The hydrogen stage with the swerve had extra Delta V. This has extra Delta V. Could definitely have made it smaller. Or we could have carried four planes, but I'm not too sure they would all separate properly. Okay, we are in Kerbin SOI. Let's bring that periapsis in. Oh, there's Kerbin. I'm gonna go with my usual 26. And we could use the engine to slow down, but previously I had come back from Jewel without a problem, so I will assume that that's still going to be the case. But we will save before hitting the atmosphere. I'm not gonna be reckless with Shalkin's life. No, it's really about the science. <laughs> uh, we're out of time warp. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Hey. How is the ablator doing? No ablative resource. Well, I sure hope you change your mind about that. Well, we're slowing down. There's no indication of anything bad happening. The G-forces are quite high for Shelkin, though. Shelkin was pushed back and... Well, it's in the red there. But uh, we are now at low Kerbin orbit speeds. And we're definitely coming straight down and everything. No ablated resource though. I don't know the ablator thing is strange. It's not like we didn't spend some time in the atmosphere to allow it to ablate. Okay. Your mileage may vary on that blader stuff. That strikes me as something gone wrong, but... Okay, parachute deployment time. Okay, looks good. 8.6 meters per second is a bit high, but should be okay. And splash down. Okay, it says it's recoverable. Let us recover. Back to the KSC. Okay, I saw something about research points. Finally, space shuttles. Or Mark III fuel systems. <laughs> well, they're, they're both sort of the same thing-ish, but I wanted the cargo bays. Hmm. But really, without the fuel tanks, cargo bays aren't that great. But we'll go with what is called space shuttle here and then we'll worry about the mark 3 fuel systems later okay we got that gonna have to figure out some other ways of getting some science i do intend to finish this off but okay for now i think that has been an unusually successful episode so with that Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.